Well, looks like I'm live. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Saturdays with Steph. I'm Stephanie of Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. And today we're working on the All Stars Block of the Week, num week number nine. I can't believe we're to week number nine already. Oh, my goodness. So we have this week and next week, which is week number 10. And then the following week, we'll be finishing this quilt. I'm so excited. Now, I will provide you some finishing instructions. You definitely don't have to finish this the way that I finish it. It'll just be a suggestion. Um, but hopefully, you'll, you'll, you'll like my suggestion. Uh, but I'm really excited to get this done. Now, this week is a really simple um, pattern. So I hope you guys grab that from my website. I'm very happy that it was an easy block because I'm exhausted. It's been a really long week. Um, we've had a lot of trials with my um, five-year-old special needs child. He hasn't been sleeping. Um, he's been really cranky. So I'm a little bit of an exhausted mama right now. So <laughs> I did pre-sew a little bit of this um, just to make the process go faster. So hopefully I can get a little nap in this evening since my husband's home. Um, but it is really good to see all of you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go look at the names right now. Um, Let's see who's here. Patty's here. Thank you so much, Patty, for being a moderator. I really appreciate you. To all the moderators, you you guys, you know, thank you for being here and thank you for taking care of everything for us. Um, not just for me, but for other YouTubers as well. Nancy Gus is here. Good to see you. Math Geek, good to see you too. Christine from Texas, good to see you. Priscilla Lancaster, I can't wait to meet you here in a couple of weeks in right here in Ohio. I'm so excited about that. Um, guess who Nancy is here? Hello, Tamala Han is here, who's also coming to the Miller's Big Ohio Retreat. I've been working all week to get stuff ready, you guys. So I'm getting really excited. I'm hoping to have everything else done this, this coming week. My husband's going to be home. I've got to get long arming done. So I'm going to be working on that and finishing every, everything for the retreat. So hopefully I'll have everything ready for you guys. Um, let's see, who did I miss? Did I say how to math geek? I don't know. <laughs> if I didn't, hello. If I did, sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm tired. I don't remember anything right now. Um, let's see who else is here. Joanna Crutchfield is here. Good to see you. Nadine is here. Bonsoir. She's here from France. Good to see you. And so is this here. Good to see you. Thank you guys for coming in from Europe. I know it's pretty late there for you, so I appreciate that. Um, Melissa's here, practically creative. Sherlock Sois is here. Good to see both of you. Thank you so much. Charlie Clark is here. Hi there. Um, Gladys Paul is here. Hey, good to see you. Uh, let's see who else is here. My screen keeps jumping. Every time I look, start looking through names, my screen jumps. Uh, Seely's here. Good to see you. Scrunch in. Uh, John Sheridan is here. Oh, hello. Um, thank you so much for sending your pictures. Your, your quote blocks are looking really great. A few of you sent me pictures over this last week. John was one of those. And I'm going to put them in my UFO video tomorrow. Unfortunately, I didn't get to a UFO video this week because it's just, like I said, a crazy week. But I'm going to put it up tomorrow. So thank you guys for sending pictures. Keep sending those. Um, Catherine's here. Hello there. LQ3 is here. Hi there. Uh, Sally's here. March Ann is here. Good to see you guys. I saw a bunch of you over at Stevens So Day. I wasn't there for very long, but I just had to hop in and say happy birthday to the birthday girl over there. Karen Neville is here. Diane's here. Hi there. Um, Land is here. MJ's here. Angela Stoutinger's here. The Quilting Compound is here. Hello there. Del Marie is here. And Shirley around to it is here. Good to see all of you. Okay. Well. I could say hello forever. I think I got everybody. If I missed anybody, oh, Mona Balloonist is here. If I missed anybody else, I'm sorry. If you have any questions, uh, definitely type the at symbol in my name, Quilting with Stephanie Stitches, so I can see it more easily. Um, I left my glasses upstairs, so I'm kind of squinting at the screen today, but I'm happy to answer any questions along the way, although this week is a really simple block, so I think you'll all get it really, really easily. Hi, Robin. Good to see you. Hey, Marla. Um, so let's get started. It's just half square triangles and then doing our corner blocks with the little corner pieces that we've been doing every week. So hi, Anne-Marie. Good to see you. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Let me turn on that other camera. There we go. All right. So I'm going to start with the corner blocks here. We're going to add the little 
one and a half inch square to the corner of our three and a half inch background square. So you're going to do that times four. How are you guys? Did you guys have a good week? If you are somebody who celebrates St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day, a day late. And also today is, it is National Quilting Day. So happy National Quilting Day. So I hope all of you got to sew something today or are getting to sew something now. I think it's pretty cool that there's a day for us crazy quilters. <laughs> How fun is that? There's a day for everything. So us quilters had to have one, right? Just cutting the corner off that. And I'm going to give this guy a press. And you're going to make four of these. The blocks behind me are looking great. Thank you, Marla. That's all the stars so far. We only have today's two and next week's two, and we're all done with the making of the stars. And then I'll be at retreat. Um, March 31st through April 3rd, but that week will be the put together week. So I'm going to film that ahead of time so you guys can watch that and grab the pattern. And then the following week, I'm going to have a special guest right here on my channel. And then the puzzle mystery quilt will be the week after that in April. So that'll be take us to the third, the third Saturday in April. And then the week after that, we'll start something new. And um, I'd like to work on some charity quilts. So I'm going to get some charity patterns, some free patterns to give you guys that you can use for charity quilts. Um, and then after the charity quilt, which will be probably we'll work on that for two weeks, I've got another block of the week for you guys. So, and that block of the week is going to be a little more difficult than this one. It's going to be more, um, definitely more towards the intermediate level. Nothing hard, just more complicated blocks, but it's something I've had written for about two years and I've been wanting to share it. So I'm excited about that. Hi, Paula. Good to see you. Good morning. Marla is going to be at the retreat too in Ohio. I'm super excited to see all of you. Some of you I've seen before. Some of you are new to my retreat, so I can't wait for that. So the next thing I'm going to do is make the half square triangle. So I just drew the line on the back of the four inch background squares. I'm going to pair those up with the print squares, just like this. And I'm going to sew a quarter inch on either side of the line. And then we're going to cut these apart and trim them to three and a half inches square. Anne Marie said, working on assembling a log cabin quilt, sewing row three together of the first two rows. Awesome. I've been thinking about making a log cabin quilt for a while, but I want to make the centers um, not just the plain old square. I'm thinking maybe Ohio stars or something. <laughs> Julie said, quilters need a national fabric buying day. I think we do that every day. <laughs> we probably need a day that we don't buy any fabric. Patty said, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> I've been told that before. <laughs> Melissa said, I saw a lot cabin earlier today with a four patch as the center. That's cool. That's cool. Now, I really like to do in Ohio Stars the centers and make them, I may be crazy, you guys, but <laughs> make them like two or three inches the center and then make build the log cabin around it. So they would be like 
yeah, little Ohio stars. So Joanna asked, will Yvette be at the Ohio retreat? Nope. She's planning her own FPP retreat. She's busy doing that. So she's not going to be there this time. Just me. The last year, last year's Ohio retreat was just me too. And it went off great. So I'm looking forward to that again. Um, Landa said with, un Landa said with unlimited funds too. Yeah. <laughs> if they gave quilters unlimited funds, we'd buy out every quilt shop. It'd be, in, it'd be trouble. <laughs> you would like this one said Anne Marie, it's a thimble blossoms pattern in star shapes. Nice. Yep. Anything stars. I'm a sucker for stars. I am stars and blue fabrics. Those are my two things that I love very much. So I'm just pressing these towards the print fabric and you're going to make six of each color, six half square triangles of each color. So not very good giving the directions today. I keep forgetting because I'm tired. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> uh, get your glasses out for that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be tiny, but I, I kind of am looking forward to the challenge. So Christine said, I'm also working on log cabin blocks for a table runner from a kit purchased over 10 years ago. Awesome. I'm glad you're finally working on it. Uh, Sally said, finish an EPP today. Also still working on Frozen Memories quilt. Oh, you're going to love the Frozen Memories quilt. It's gorgeous. And EPP is not my thing because it's hand stitching, but good on you. Anybody that does hand stitching, I'm like, I'm giving you so much credit. I really hate it. Okay. Just going to iron these guys. Oh, you guys are talking about basketball. I'm not a huge basketball fan, college or otherwise. So I know that it's called March Madness. I have no idea who's winning. <laughs> I do like football. Um, I like college football. So when that season is on, we can talk football. <laughs> Oh, I must have missed something about somebody's long arm. Hey, Tracy, good to see you. Hey, Shannon, Shannon Rhodes, good to see you. Uh, let's see, Marla said, quilting with Stephanie's stitches, we will help you with that, whatever you need. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. I think I'm good, Marla. I think I'm gonna have everything done and ready to go. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. It was a great time last year. This is the OG retreat, so I'm looking forward to going back there again and having a great time with you guys. So now where did I put my ruler? There it is. Ingrid said, looking forward to seeing you in Millersburg. I'm finishing up my auction item now. Aw, thanks. I'm looking forward to seeing you too, Ingrid. I got to meet Ingrid at last year's Pennsylvania retreat and she's just the loveliest lady. And so I can't wait to see her again. Retreats are amazing and everyone being like-minded makes it wonderful, just not a lot of sleep. That's true, we didn't sleep a whole lot, but they are fun. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about retreats and what I do, um, Cotton Cuts, if you haven't heard yet, actually asked me to guest blog this week. So I wrote an article for them and it's on their blog now, all about quilt, re quilt retreats. So I hope you'll go check that out. That was a lot of fun and it was quite an honor to be asked to um, guest blog for them. So I'm just trimming my half square triangles down now to three and a half inches square. Hey, Sherry. Good to see you, Sherry Blanton. Sally said, I love to hand stitch in the evening. Helps me to relax. That's awesome. 
I think hand stitchers are the greatest ladies because I definitely can't do it. The last thing I hand stitched was a pocket on the back of a quilt for a quilt show. And it took me forever. And by the time I was done, my fingers were done. <laughs> and I was very irritated. <laughs> it's just not for me, but for those of you who can, go for it. And I think it's amazing. One of the quilt shows here in Ohio, it's in Amish country and they always have um, a big hand hoop or hand uh, quilting hoop set up. And there's always a bunch of Amish ladies sitting there quilting it, a quilt. And it's really neat to stand and watch. It's just not for me, but it's really cool to watch. And I, I'm really impressed by them. And when you go to purchase a quilt from them, they're quite expensive. And now that I am a quilter, or I've been a quilter for a while, but knowing how much it takes to quilt and, um, you know, that they hand, knowing that they hand piece and hand quilt everything, those quilts are really priceless. <laughs> they should actually probably charging more than what they do for them. So. Let's see. Uh, Angela said it was fun hearing your little one in this morning in the so yeah box opening. He was following me everywhere this morning, Angela. I really couldn't. <laughs> He's so cute. He, his, uh, he was kind of stuck to me this morning and I'm not sure why, because usually he's pretty independent. And so he followed me down here and I was like, you know what? He can just stay. It's fine. I'm sure you guys don't mind that much hearing him, <laughs> but I opened the box and he saw all the blue stuff and he's blue. <laughs> so it was funny. Let's see. The Georgia retreat with family style dinner time was pretty great. I don't get to eat family style much anymore, said Patty. Yeah, that was fun. I love that they had that big, huge table for us to sit at. That was really great. And that we all fit there. We all got to sit together. Okay, so those are all trimmed. Hi, Marie. Good to see you. Um, oh, thank you, guys. People are saying that my blog was good. I appreciate that. I was super nervous about it. I mean, I write things on my own website. You guys know under Steph Scoop where I put the um, patterns, but you never know if people really want to read the stuff or if it's any good. And I've had a lot of great feedback. So thank you guys so much. It, it, it really meant a lot to me. So thank you, Marla. Thank you, Mary. The Amish do need to charge more for their quilts. I totally agree, Lori. Um, they they are pretty pricey, but I don't think after knowing that they hand piece everything and hand quilt everything and they're perfect. They're literally perfect. If you've never been to um, an uh, Amish country or a place in the country where everything is hand done, no machines, and you've never seen a quilt like that at some point in your life, if you're a quilter, you need to see one if you can, because it's mind blowing. I feel like a baby quilter when I go look at these quilts, <laughs> but yeah, they, they should really charge more. <laughs> uh, Tracy said, I'm hand embroidering the label for the back of the wall hanging I'm making for my dad who turned 90 last month. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, Dawn said, you know, we don't care. We love seeing the kiddos. Thanks, Dawn. Mary said, I want an Amish quilt. I have an Amish crocheted blanket. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Kids are cool. Let the kids stay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, um, he just kind of, he didn't, he, I was actually surprised. I thought he, at one point he was going to pop into the video because he was literally standing right next to me. But he just was like looking over and seeing the stuff that was in the box. And he saw all the blue fabric and everything. So blue. <laughs> it was cute. Um, 
Melissa said, it's the husbands or partners that aren't so fun in video. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh, I so needed this laugh from you guys today. Thank you so much. After the week I had, it's it's nice hanging out with all of you. Um, well, I got to go take care, friend said Mary. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Burr just came back from the mailbox. It's snowing. It was snowing here this morning. I don't know if it still is, but it was pretty cold. And then later this week, it's supposed to be in the 50s and 60s. <laughs> the weather's a little schizophrenic right now. <laughs> Uh, the Amish also hand draw all their designs on, usually with pencil. It's astonishing. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Sally said, I love Amish quilts going to Ohio in the fall to the quilt short stores. Oh, Sally, you'll have to let me know when you're coming. Maybe I can meet up with you. That would be fun. Can you do a tutorial sometime on how you recover your small ironing board? Absolutely. Um, I actually need, I have two of them. One I usually take on a retreat, which is this one right here next to me. And then I have the one with the pink fabric, which needs to be recovered right now. So um, yeah, that when I recover it, the only reason I haven't recovered it actually is because um, I use a staple gun to staple the fabric on the back and I'm out of staples. <laughs> so as soon as I go get staples and I go to recover it, I'll make a video on that. No problem. We stopped in Bird in Hand in PA. We bought a Lancaster Rose athlete quilt. My husband and I both loved it. Oh, awesome. I love the quilt shop in Bird in Hand. That box was beautiful, Zayden Nadine. I agree. I love blues, so yeah. All right, so talking a lot. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put all this together. So I did half of it already. So we're going to put our corner pieces here. And then we're going to put our half square triangles just like this. And you're going to want to put your pink opposite of the pink here and your blue opposite of the blue here. So I'm going to lay all this out. just like that. So the center, there should be a diamond in the center that's white. And these um, edges here should, or these sides should look like star legs. And then we're gonna put our corner square. And all your colors should be touching. So there shouldn't be a white next to the color. You should have all your colors touching. So all the blue should be touching. All the pinks will be touching. And then your corner square. So look just like that. So we're going to sew these together. Beth Geek said, almost 61 degrees and sunny here today. I can feel spring in the air. That's awesome. So earlier this week, we have somebody who comes in, like a company that comes in and fertilizes our yard. And um, a lot of people's grass has started growing because the weather's been warmer. But then we'll have a warm week and then it'll get cold and snow and then a warm week and cold and snow. And they came the other day and they laid the fertilizer down. They're like, oh, it's perfect timing because it's supposed to rain the next day, which it did. And now today it's snowing. <laughs> it's just kind of wacky this weather. But I got a little uh, taste of spring temperatures when I was out in Vegas. So I'm definitely ready for spring for sure. Yeah, let me know, Sally. That would be great. I'd love to meet you. Uh, let's see. I saw that box and knew you would love it, said Catherine. Yeah, all the blue fabric. If you guys just came in, you don't know what box we're talking about. It's the So Yeah subscription box. I got mine in the mail earlier today and I put up the video uh, opening it. And that box was made for me. It's all blue fabrics. It's gorgeous. I was missing my school of thread, but I already emailed them to let them know. So I'm sure they'll send it out to me. Um, but it's a great box. 
Any tips uh, to tell Kona White and Riley White apart? I think I started using Kona for this so long, but forgot to write it down. Um, I don't have any, but maybe somebody else does. I feel like they look a lot alike. <laughs> I can tell the difference between Bella, which is what I'm using, Bella salads, and um, confetti cotton salads, which is Riley Blake, because they feel different. The, the hand on them is completely different. Um, confetti cotton salads is a little more of a silky finish, whereas the Bella's not. Um, and the bell, but the bell is a little thicker, so not as see through. But between Kona and Kinvey Cotton, I don't know. I wish I had that answer for you. Maybe somebody here knows. Hi, Diane from Massachusetts. Good to see you. The ladies' club at my church in Missouri still hand quilts a quilt. <coughs> Excuse me every year to give away at the church picnic. That's awesome. How cool is that? That's a true quilting bee, like sit around and hand quilt a quilt together. Don't see those too much anymore. That's really cool. I can, uh, let's see. The Kona usually has a denser feel. Riley Blake is a little softer. Okay, there you go. Awesome. Thank you, um, Christine, for that information. I just haven't used Kona enough to know. I've used uh, the confetti cotton salads and the Bella. Um, and like I said, the confetti cotton salads has got a silkier, like, like she was saying, softer feel. This is a little, not as soft, but it's thicker, so you can't see through it as much. Um, but yeah, I just haven't used Kona enough to know. So. Okay, I'm going to press this. Uh, Marla said, I can meet you. And Stephanie also, Sally, I'm only 40 minutes away. Yeah. Yeah, Marla, Sally is in Canton, Canton, Ohio. She's really close actually to Amish country. So hey, Nancy, good to see you. Sally said, that's why I went out to the mailbox <laughs> in the snow. I got to get my box. Awesome. You're probably getting more snow than we are there because or we are here because you get that lake effect too. We're on the very back edge of the lake effect snow. Now, where I grew up on the east side of Cleveland, I was only about probably 40 minutes, maybe half hour, probably 40 minutes from Erie. And we got the piles of snow like you guys do too. But where we live now, I don't get as much. Kona Snow is my favorite. Yeah, I like the color of Kona Snow. I just haven't used it enough to know. Hey, Laurel, good to see you. Thanks for coming by. I'm not even going to ask you how your weather is. I'm sure it's beautiful. <laughs> hey, Jim, good to see you. Yeah, the, that is the one thing Math Geek is that um, I feel like the Riley Blake you can see through a lot easier. So if it's thicker and you're, it's not see through, it probably is the Kona. Angela said, I finally finished my granddaughter's t-shirt quilt. Need help taking a great pick and forgetting to ask my son to help me with it. Oh, yeah. I am um, the funniest thing to me at the retreat in Vegas is that People kept saying to me they're, I was shorter than what they thought. I've never made it a secret that I'm short. I'm only about five, 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 five and a half, something like that. And the only way I can get like good pictures of my quilts is I have to have my husband hold them because he's six, two, he'll hold them up and I'll take a picture. Other, if I don't have his help, the pictures look terrible. <laughs> I'm just not tall enough. Hey, Cheryl, good to see you. 
We sent all the snow to Buffalo this year. I know you did, Sally. They got killed over there. They got so much snow. It's crazy. We really didn't get a lot in Ohio this year either. Um, it's been a weird year for snow. My kids are actually really disappointed about it because they love playing in the snow. I like the way snow looks, but I don't like the way it feels because I get really cold from it. Hey, Karen, good to see you. Happy Saturday. So anybody who just came in, happy National Quilting Day. I hope you got to sew something today. Seventy-seven in East Honolulu and sunny. Nice. That is like the perfect weather. Mid seventies with some sunshine. Yeah, not too hot, not too cold. <sighs> Sealy said, "That's not short stuff." I am. I yeah. <laughs> it's short. It's not as short as some of the ladies in my family. Um, my grandmother was only right at five foot my daughter I think she stopped growing she's five two right now and my mom was about five one five two so um I'm definitely one of the taller ladies in my family but I'm definitely not tall <laughs> but isn't that funny how we make assumptions about people and what they may or might not look like in real life I mean obviously you all see my face but um like how different people can look based on what you think they look like I just found it really funny that people thought that I was taller. And I was like, what are you basing that on? <laughs> Nancy said, "We Wisconsin had record snow this year. Yuck. Ugh. You and Buffalo, I think, got all the snow this year. <laughs> Patty said, you are much taller than me. Well. <sighs> Catherine said, you would tower over me. You're five foot two. That's how tall my daughter is. Okay, so there's the block. I'm just going to put those two rows together. I did press these. I should have showed you guys. I did press these open because they were pretty bulky when I was trying to, when I did this first piece. And I thought that's not gonna work too well on the long arm. So I am pressing these center seams open. Tracy said, my daughter turned 31 yesterday and she's four foot 11, aw. She's a pocket kid. Sarah was so hoping that she would at least make five foot because she's been, really tiny since she was born. She was the smallest of all of our children um, when she was born, lengthwise and weight-wise. And she was tiny, like, you know, she was seven, eight years old and still wearing size like two, three underpants. And <laughs> she could still wear like size four clothes. And I mean, she was tiny. Um, and I think she's about growing. And she's she finally, she got over five foot last year she finally hit five two and it seems like she hasn't grown anymore so I think she's done so she just thrilled to be over five foot <laughs> we say tiny but mighty though because that girl is um, and I love it but she's super opinionated and has a mind of her own for sure <laughs> it's great I know that nobody's ever going to push her around. So I love that. And that might be from having brothers. She learned to like hold her own. <laughs> uh, Angela said, when I met Jenny Doan, I was surprised to see how tall she is. Yeah, she's the tall lady. Yeah. I don't remember how tall she is, but I know that she's tall because um, I didn't actually like meet her, meet her, but I like 
walk past her <laughs> at an event and I was like, oh. <laughs> so I didn't get right up next to her so I don't know how exactly tall she is, but she's pretty tall. The sad part is, is you start shrinking as you get older. I was five, six and now I'm five, three. Yeah, I actually was a little bit taller, um, but I had a car accident several years ago now and I broke um, a couple of vertebrae in my back and I lost a disc in my back. So I actually shrunk like an inch and a half. I was closer to five, seven at one point, which in my family with all the short women, that was like a giant, but <laughs> to be fair, my dad was almost six foot. My grandfather was over six foot. So somehow I got somewhere in the middle between all the short ladies. And, but now I've shrunk, I've already shrunk. So I'm sure I'll shrink a little more as I get older, but that was kind of sad to lose that height, but oh well, it is what it is. Now I'm just glad I have a husband who's tall who can get stuff off the shelves on top for me. <laughs> uh, Sally said, remind her that good things come in small packages. I'm five two also. Oh yeah, she knows. <laughs> all right, well, there's the block all done. So as you can see, we've only been live for a half hour and I've been talking if I would have actually sat here and worked on it, we would have got this done pretty quickly, but um, goes together really fast. So just make two of these. Let me grab my other one. So that was one that I made. And this is the sample one that I made to come up with the pattern. Uh, Tracy, oh, Patty said, grandma was four nine on a good day. I'm barely five two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sally said, Steph, FYI, I got thread in my so yeah box. Yeah, Sally, several people have told me that they got thread. And so I reached out to so yeah already and let them know that my box did not have thread. Um, I was just a mistake. I mean, accidents happen. I mean, sometimes when I put my project boxes together, every once in a while, I'll leave out a pattern. It, stuff happens when you're making that many boxes. So I'm not upset about it. I know they'll get it to me eventually. Um, Landa said, I think Jenny is five nine ish. Her daughter in law, Missy, is even taller. Wow. I was five, five and a half and shrunk to five four, said Nancy. Pretty block. I have to stalk people in the grocery store to reach things. <laughs> yeah. I've done that before. That's funny that you said that, Catherine, because like if something's on a very, very top shelf, I can't reach that top shelf. And um, I'll usually go grocery shopping with my husband, but if I don't, then I like look around like for somebody, like either somebody that works there or somebody tall. And I'm like, and they probably think like you said, I was stalking them. But I'll go, can you please get that for me? <laughs> yeah. So there are my two blocks. All right. I'm going to turn that camera off. And I'm going to put these on the wall behind us. Look at our collection, you guys. We got a whole big old collection of star blocks back here. <laughs> and we have a hole right behind me where two more blocks can go. <laughs> so next week will be the last star block. So it'll be block number 10. And then the week after that will be the finishing instruction. So I am really super excited to get this all done. Thank you guys so much for sewing this along with me. And I really hope that you will sew the next block of the week along with me too. Again, that won't probably start until probably May um, because I've got several things lined up for April, including some charity quilt projects. And then May 6th, um, I am participating in Stephen Bland of Bland Designs in the Idiot Quilter. He's my friend here on YouTube and outside of YouTube. He is having a virtual retreat on May 6th. If you want to know more about the retreat or participate, go over to his channel, Bland Designs in the Idiot Quilter and check it out. He only has space for like 90 something people. And I think he's up to 60, over 60. So if you're interested in spending the day with Steven and other like-minded cultures and myself, um, go ahead and check out his channel. And then under the um, video about the retreat, there's a link to sign up for all, all of that. He's going to have three guest speakers, Sean, the guy who sews, Russ from Quilt Meets World, and me. <laughs> So it's going to be a really fun day. So that day I won't have Saturdays with Steph because that's an all-day event. 
And I'm really looking forward to that. So if you guys would like to be part of a virtual retreat, that's completely free. All you have to do is go to Steven's channel, um, find that video about the retreat and sign up. Um, and then the week after that, which would be May 13th, I believe, that's when we'll probably start the next block of the week. So that one's going to be a little more advanced and I'm going to try my best to get you guys better fabric requirements ahead of time for that one um, based on the way that I'm going to, the colors I'm going to use to sew it. So that's going on. Let's see, tomorrow I will have my UFO video. Um, the next Fort Worth Fabric Studio quilt has not been announced yet, but I'm sure that's going to be coming really soon. I have my retreat coming up uh, March 31st, like I was saying. Um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, Pastry Shop Quilts just announced their Christmas uh, stitched block of the month. So if you want to check that out, that's going to be really fun. I'm going to be sewing that on my channel. Uh, the Patriotic Days block of the month with Pastry Shop is almost done. I think we only have two more months. Um, so they'll overlap just a little bit, but not too much. So it won't be too much to handle. And then of course, we've got the puzzle mystery quilt going on. Going on. Um, just all kinds of good stuff. So there's always something fun going on in the quilting world. So hopefully you can find something that you love and you'll have something to sell, especially today on National Quilting Day. So let's see. I'm gonna see if there's any other questions. Let's see. Do, 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 do. My stars are gorgeous. Thank you. I appreciate that. Gravity stinks. Yeah, it does. Uh, Shirley said, my pet peeve is why do they put size five shoes on the top shelf and the larger sizes on the lower shelves, right? You would think they would make that correlation that probably the shorter people wear the smaller shoes. <laughs> that is pretty silly. Can't wait to see the final block. Awesome. It's gonna be, it's a little more difficult than this week's block, but not hard. You guys are gonna like it. Uh, thank you, Celie. I appreciate that. Uh, so wonderful to actually join in this week, said Sally. Thank you. Cheryl said, I'm signed up. Awesome. Nancy said, I'm going to Stephen's retreat. Yay. So um, there's gonna be some really great topics. Sean's gonna talk about entering a quilt, uh, a quilt in a show. I'm going to talk about quilt judging and then Ross or Ross Russ is going to talk about um, purchasing a long arm and pros and cons and things like that. So I think it's going to be great. And if you sign up for Stephen's retreat the day before he actually has a mixer the night before, you can bring coffee, tea, wine, whatever you want. But it's a nice chance to like do an icebreaker, meet other people. And he usually has a game or two. And then the next day. He has some giveaways during the retreats and usually they're Amazon gift cards and patterns and a few of them are going to be my PDF um, patterns. So I'm happy to send those to some of you. So don't forget to sign up for that. That's going to be really fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Patty. I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know how you keep up, said Melissa. I don't know either. Most days I feel like I'm just stumbling through life. <laughs> Angela said, remind me when you're hoping your project box will ship. Should ship this week, Angela, because the last of everything came in. Well, the patterns all came in this last week because I had to finish my pattern and get that printed. They came in from the printer. Um, and then the last of the thread should be here this Monday. So as long as everything comes on time, that will go out later this week. So yay, I'm really excited about that. Thank you for asking about my project box. Um, Shelly said it's so colorful. I love it. Thank you. I love that this isn't fabric that I typically pick for my stars and I'm really happy that I did because they're looking very bright and beautiful and springy. So yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's it. Uh, that's all I've got. And it looks like the questions that are coming in now are things that I've already answered, like the project box. So that later this week, that should be going out. This coming week, I should say, I guess today's the end of a week, but tomorrow um, starts the new week. So later this coming week, those should go out. And then the following week, I go to retreat. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to, if you haven't, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate that. I'm, I've am i been growing lately and I, I know that's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, are there any of your boxes still available? Yes, they're in my Etsy shop. So 
Yes, go ahead, go buy a box. <laughs> um, see you, Jim. It was nice to see you. It's been a little while. And I will see all of you other lovely ladies and gentlemen very soon. Take care and don't forget to keep sending me your pictures of your box because I would love to feature them in my UFO video. All right, take care. Have a good night, everybody. I'm going to go get a nap. <laughs> Bye.